Ladies and gentlemen, we have the King Cow Lucy. It's one of the most standard meta decks in the game. But you know, since honestly we're that close to some new cards coming out, I don't really feel like experimenting with too much. So I'm just going to showcase some popular archetypes that could stick around for maybe even beyond expansions. You'll see this oftentimes in games where some archetypes they stick around and they evolve and they adapt as new cards get released so i think king cow elusives or elusive cards in general will probably have like that kind of home who knows how varying cards can be and metas can be uh usually a green glade duo is oftentimes more of a keep than not uh most of the time you just look for a curve it's pretty it's pretty simple playing king cow elusives sometimes uh, probably one of the more interesting things to consider uh, when you're going into your mulligan is uh, Wayfinder. Wayfinder is like one of the most strongest cards in this deck. So it's oftentimes a great keep. Now, in saying that, let's say you haven't got much of a curve and maybe you have a Wayfinder in hand as well as a lot more expensive cards. Then at that point, you probably consider putting back the Wayfinder and try and find a curve. Looking for a curve is pretty much one of the most important things, right? Now yeah, I wonder if I should have blocked that damn card. Let's move. Uh, not gonna swing with the Blade Scout here. I'll just save it for a block in case he has a. So I don't know. I don't know exactly know what he's playing, but uh, if he plays something that has two HP, I'd rather block that with the Scout. Sure. Too many random poros. I'll tell you that for sure. Yeah, we're just blocking them all. I don't know what he's playing. I don't think he has an answer to Zed, so I'm going to play that. I don't think he has much of an answer to Zed at all. If I had a trade there, he may have been running Black Spear. Okay. Uh, we're going to go for an open attack here. I feel like he's going to do something cheesy with the, um, Callista. Grant all pores everywhere. Two. Why? Yeah, this guy's playing pores and Callista. Kind of interesting. I think we'll play the life blade now. Keep our elusive units on board. Sure. Okay, this guy's kind of trolling. This is probably not the best match to be like highlighting. But we're still going to talk about elusives anyway, so why not? So now this is a good block. We're going to block that. I mean, we could have blocked it a little earlier too. We'll pass for a moment, see what he try and does here. If he goes to play Glimpse Beyond, I'll will the Callista. Sure. Yeah, since he's done this, maybe I'm going to play the Green Glade. In the turn. I'm just going to touch him up with some elusive units that he cannot bear to deal with. We could just have lethal here if he has no fucking answer, honestly. Because this is going to be 4, plus 4, plus 2. Because if you play a Blade Scout as well, this could very much be lethal. I don't need to swing with a Zed. Okay. 
What I can do is throw back that Callista and force him to use mana on it. But now nah, we'll chill. We'll chill. So I don't know what he's rocking, but if for some reason he's playing Poros, he's playing fucking Harsh Winds and Poro Herder. He's, he's straight up inting. Straight up inting. What's your play, buddy? Like, honestly, what are you thinking about? You're thinking about doing that. I'm thinking about doing this. Why the fuck would he hit that one? Why not one of the poros? He thinks I'm gonna will of it? I guess he must expect me to be willing this. So if I just hit that, then what does he, like, what's he do? That was really Pepego. That was super Pepega. He just went mega Pepega on me. Alright. He replays the Callista. I totally expected this. Sure. I'll play the Elixir of Iron. Okay, we got lethal still. One, two, three, four. At this point, I can actually swing with the Zed. More pressure. Plus it buffs up the green glade, so it makes a lot of sense to do it like this. Obviously, I didn't swing with the Scout because there's uh, not enough room. And I'll make sure I don't forget about Zed's passive. And your opponent surrendered. That's It's, it's easy as that, guys. King Cow elusives. Yeah, my internet's been fucking tripping out all day. What are we versing? Ooh, interesting. Another troll. So Callista Thresh Hecarim Noxus Shadow Isles. Okay. We have a nice curve. I'm not gonna keep the scout though. I'm gonna keep the Shadow Assassin along along uh, 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 alongside Omen Hawk. I think that's really cool. I wonder if I wanna keep it denying this matchup. <laughs> Unfortunately not. We don't want to be denying stuff. Oh man, the curve. The curve is unreal, man. Unreal. We're actually incredible at this game. So, we have the Conspirator. Really good target with Omen Hawk. Also, we have the Conspirator. Again, to play with the Omen Hawk as well as drawing the cards that we buff. I wouldn't be surprised to see him attempt to clear up this, uh, the Vile Feast. If he gives me the opportunity to, I will save it. If he plays anything, I'm gonna flip it up. There we go. I'm down with that. I'm full down with that. Omen Hawk buffs for days. Yeah, we'll just play the Shadow Assassin. Um, you know, he's, he, we're good. We're good to play this. He ain't no for Jord. That's big. All right, free damage. I think he's floating some mana. I think he's gonna go Callista and uh, summon the three one one infernals. What is this guy doing? He just floated six mana. Whew. Is he just inting? Man, having two elixir vines in here. Can actually set up for some wacky plays. I can't play this Zed yet. I think he wants to use Death Mark on this. Okay, I guess not. Um, I'm feeling pretty good to play Zed now. There's not many Death Mark plays he can make. He could have Twisted Spear, but I do have the Elixir of Iron, so that's fine. Black Spear, I mean, sorry. Keep that Zed healthy. Yeah, 
and pretty obvious open attack, I feel. Big damage. Big damage about to come in there. He's gonna play something. We got the Elixir of Iron for the flex. Damn, that's a strong turn. Strong turn. Leveling upset is pretty cool, but I don't know how relevant it really is. It's got extra defense, it's got extra HP, which is probably like one of the most important things here. Okay, so he's throwing back the turn to us. So he may be trying to lead me into a bait because he has an answer to Zed. I think we can just really pressure him down though. Let's buff the Shadow Assassin. We'll spread our buffs out. He might have an answer to Zed. I think that's okay. He doesn't have an answer to Zed. He may have a Ruination, I guess. That's probably the obvious line here. So we've got some sick refill if he does. Sick refill. Disgusting refill. It's so disgusting it makes you sick. So it's sick refill. Okay, he was just straight up trolling. We're seeing a bunch of trolls today, man. What's going on? So this is a new, newish, not newish, but a uh, re revamped archetype. So pretty sure Swim was highlighting this elusive burn. So he's going to get onto the board heavy. I think uh, looking for a one drop is really important against him. So let's get rid of the entire hand. However, the Will of Ionia might be quite important to have kept, but I don't know. I feel like getting Tempo is just as important. Because this deck wants to play like a single unit early, like a solitary monk, and buff it, and then just go face over and over. We'll actually attack. I don't mind not playing the Conspirator for value. I don't mind getting rid of that unit though. We have Green Glades, so we have something productive to do next turn. Let's play my buffed up one. Skip the block. I uh, maybe could have played this one. There's a line where I'd play that one just to trade. Okay. We're gonna play the Elixir of Iron to protect it. It sucks, man. I think in hindsight, I should have played the other Green Glade to take that value trade. But this is not working out too bad for us. We're lucky you didn't have like a single combat or something. Again, let's just keep playing on curve. The Wayfinder that's buffed. Cannot complain about that at all. We missed our Allegiance buff. That sucks. It's going to happen here and there. There's not much you can do about that. Uh, okay. I can't take 12 damage. It's a bit too much. Missing that Allegiant buff. Oh man. That could just cost you a game sometimes. Unreal. But this is the sacrifices you make when deck building sometimes. Maybe I'll go a bit wide against him. Because we can actually go Omen Hawk. Uh, check this out, we can go Omen Hawk, we can play Conspirator. Yeah, we're still doing this. Hopefully he doesn't get another elusive unit. It's fine. So he's gonna take a sick trade here. But I can't stop that. We're still gonna swing for seven. Mm. 
That's why I didn't want to say. That is not what I wanted to say. So I'm not actually going to swing that. It's a really bad swing. That also sucks, man. This guy. I should have swung with one of the green glades, honestly. I was just being kind of greedy. Ah, uh, well. It's a good find. I guess I have to block here. Hang on, I don't want to take too much damage from the set of clones. Sick. I can't deny that. If I take this block, I pretty much lose the game. So I can't afford to take the block. Just have to take the damage. I'm not sure if there's actually a way to get back into the game in this position. But I know that if I block there, I pretty much that I have lost anyway, so. The dual protector. I guess that's about all we do. It's too late for you. Okay, not too bad for us. A bit of breathing room here. He must not have had a repost or something. Stand alone. Okay. Hey, and a green glade. All right. So he's gonna open attack. I think that's pretty much us. There's no way we survive. I'll have to have a look at that list as well. Mirror matchup. Oh, dude, I don't want to play a mirror matchup. Oh, fuck, man, I hate mirror matchups. Okay, this is obviously an easy full mulligan. Let's look for the early game. Ooh, this hand sucks. Cool. Quietly. Closing in on the mark. Okay, so we have to play Zed, try and get onto the board. I am the blade in the darkness. The Yordle here with me. Please control. This one's trouble. That hand, dude. Almost concede worthy right there. Everyone here? Let's go. So, I think the way I find it's a better play here. As long as we don't hit double Omen Hawk. We're in it, dude. He, he missed his fucking allegiance. And we didn't miss ours. It's nice to see a bit of luck coming back our way. <laughs> So that, the mana that we've been floating is going to be pretty relevant here to take a free block against this guy. That's actually really good for us. But now we've used up our elixir, but most of the time it's not too relevant. This is a pretty obvious open attack. I can't, I can't deny Twin Disciplines if he has it. But I've seen a lot of lists cutting down to single copies. This one's trouble. If he doesn't double block Zed, I think Zed levels up, so I'm not sure what he's doing here. 
saving some damage to his face. So we actually are in a lot bit better of a position than I thought we would have been. We got super unlucky with these allegiance, but again, as I just said, in the last game, these are the sacrifices that you make. So unlucky for him. I can match that tempo. Hit the life blade in this matchup. The card hitting the assassins, it doesn't make any difference. So we buffed his guy. Yeah, I probably play my one, right? There was a merit to actually buffing the Shadow Assassin in this position, so I can have room for deny. But the only things that we really deny in this matchup is his deny. <laughs> or Will of Ionia. So we'll play the lifeblade. Oh, we played the wrong one. It's fine. It was all planned. I planned this. I sense fear. It was all a part of my plan. Okay, so we'll play our life blade. He might have the, uh, the bird. Not that bird. This swings first. He blocks it with the Shadow Assassin. This swings second. I guess we just open attack. Before we can buff this. So I think, okay, he wants to do that. I can get down with that. Uh, this looks good. It looks bad that our Zed goes down, but we have that wide board. He got the single Shadow Assassin. Play our buffed up one. Play Zed. Pass. We'll see if he goes for fast play here or slow play. Ooh. Hide. Goes for a fast play. We it's too late for you. He can get us from that range. He can get us. But I don't want to block. I don't want to use my units to block. I want my units. That's fine. If I lose, well deserved. You got unlucky, so give him a free win. He's counting it up. So we already saw him play one twin disciplines, though. So, like, the range that he gets us is that he would need... No, there's no, no lethal in his hand. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, he's pretty much fucked. So we'll go wide here. We'll dro drop our assassins. Yeah, that's fine. He's pretty much cocked. Okay, I wonder how many, um, how many elusive units do we need to win this turn? Okay, so we drop the scout first, see how he responds here. Yeah, I could just do this. I think it's over at that point. 
Hello over, hello over. So little surely we're getting back on the climb. See, I thought about like pushing for masters, but because we have a rank reset coming up soon, I don't want to invest too much of my time doing that right now. I think I'd rather just go hard once the reset starts. Then yeah, at the very start of the season, there's going to be a lot of deck testing. So I could be a scumbag and just play some <laughs> regular decks and really get in there. But now we're going to deck test. I'm keen so far for Vi. I think Vi is going to have some interesting mechanics. Vi Jinx deck. Interesting. Yeah, okay, I guess he picked the wrong deck. 